all right so this is 13 December Tuesday now let's take a look at Monday there we go okay this is Monday now Monday as you know I put the swing days there as well but we're not going to look at that just yet so these were the astro hours for yesterday and what we're doing is simple what we want to do is sell when we get to certain levels at astro hours okay so this was a good level this was a good level slightly above let me just refresh this now because the daily pivot is way way down there so let's take a look let's go down there so what we want to do basically is sell high and if we're going to buy we're going to buy low but with gold we are looking to go short if the market goes up because we want to come back into this zone here or here well we'll see if it comes back or not but i'm still endeavoring to short it all right that's just how it is so today as well 1788 zone is going to be interesting for us this zone 1788 which is pretty much there as you can see so this zone is nice to take a look at now if you sold yesterday from the highs from here or slightly just under that purple zone it would have been okay um, if you sold here and you put your stop loss there you would have had a very small stop loss hit okay if you went back into sell this would have been your level at 245 and if you did that as well you would have probably been in the game all right as you can see market went down back up going back down into this zone this was your target zone so get out kind of zone there let's get rid of these for today and let's take a look at what we got now today's astro hours are also going to be interesting for us so what we're going to do is we're going to want to wait for uh, New York now these are, it's a good breakdown here so if the market goes back up into these levels from the weekly pivot into this zone here and I will 1786 1787 let's take in that as well so the market should come up into this zone all right so what we want to do is check um, whether we can sell it off again either from here or we're going to be one up level now there's a bit of a gap here so if the market fills it up great that should take you to here Coincidentally, there's another gap here. Okay, we'll just keep that in mind. So if the market goes back up, that's 1797, which is just around here. Okay, it's a good buy kiss. So this stone's going to be okay. This stone's going to be okay to short at Astral's. Do you want to buy into that stone? Well, I don't want to be buying when we're in this zone here I just have to be careful about one little thing guys and that little thing are the even highs here I mentioned that before okay so just be careful about even highs market likes to go take out the stops and then push back there now today 65.55 is 18.08 which is an extreme one at the top there so if we get into 18.08 into that zone that's also going to be a sell level it'll also take out some stops as you can see right into that zone there it's 1809 so possibly okay so we could do that no problem the market is still making higher highs we haven't really broken any swings yet on the smaller time frame we have though as you can see that was that swing level that was a swing level so the market broke it went up sold off market broke it went up sell off or from here selling off is an option euro dollar same kind of thing same kind of thing with this now here's a nice situation here the market can break out we do have breakout 
aspect section so we can play this both ways okay if now this is yesterday these are the astrals for yesterday as you can see very choppy the only thing that was plausible is to buy on the weekly pivot at an astro hour because this is how it panned out and that wasn't really very clear either and you know what we always say if you're in choppy zones or mid zones just don't muck around with it it's just going to get you into trouble so let's get rid of this let's get rid of this okay this was a zone so the market came exactly to that level yesterday um, which was right on there so I said don't sell here because that's just going to be support and the market gave it a good support as you can see so going up into this zone and breaking there and coming up looks like an option we could deal with if we break above the 68 which is going to be 1.0590 So going up into this zone as a target is also on the cards. This is nice to see, okay, because we've got a nice little breakout. If I just refresh this, go back and forth. If the market comes back down, I think we're okay to buy to go long as well. Let me just check that on the daily chart too, where that support is. All right, so we've got to be mindful about this because I talked about this before as well. There's a bit of a gap here into that zone. So if the market does keep pushing up, it's the drama, right? 63.93 support of today, which is 1.0523, which the market already did. 1.0523, which is there. 1.0523 hasn't really done it, but it's doable 1.0523 there okay so if the, if the market does come back here it is a support and that's a resistance and this is the choppy zone right so it could go both ways okay we can even have a disruption going down into this zone and that will be 55 which is 1.0465 1.0465 is down there so that'll be a target if it breaks out we'll have 70 which will be 76 1.0730 and that'll be 1.0730 is just way out there and on the weekly if it keeps going up which it could will end up will end up actually at the goodbye kiss level there okay so no dramas what's that 74 1.0790 1.08 .08. so we've got room to go up as well 1.0451 is something we've got to be looking out for as well 1.0451 there so it would be nice to see the euro dollar come down then we buy in order to go up and that would be also interesting okay so what we're going to do is this at astro hours we're okay to sell at that 1.0590 there if it gets up there if you want to buy on the weekly white line this level here you can with a tight stop loss if it's an astro hour only okay otherwise you're in a bit of a choppy zone so that's doable um other than that, you know, just leave it alone. Yeah, don't be mucking around, like I say, in the middle somewhere. Um, US 30. Now, US 30 on the weekly, let's take a look. That's where we are. So, on the weekly, market made a nice fall last week. And this week, let's see Monday, market going up. What do we want to do with this? We want to be selling around 59.60, which is... 34183315 and 
where are we? 59, 60, 34, 6, 0, 5. Thirty four six zero oh, five. Okay, so that's the situation here on US 30. So we've got a bit of room to go up there. The market can definitely go. That's a nice push up. We might have to fill in some blanks. So let's get rid of these. These were the astro hours yesterday. As you can see, and then the market just broke out. So buying at the lows here, here were okay. Selling here would have been a tight stop loss. It would have been stopped out with a tight stop loss. And that's basically it. If we get rid of these now and wait, um, we only have what two options here. Um, let's see. The market goes up into that zone at Astro Hours, it's sellable. If it comes down here at Astro Hours, or even lower down here, it's buyable. Gonna have to play both sides on this one. It's a bit tricky. I'd go in with a smaller lot size because we're on the edges. And I'd rather sell on the PST and there. Right on there. So a bit of a good buy kiss is in order for us to do anything else with this. Okay, so let me also delete this line here so if it does go up a little bit we can push it down so selling from these levels is again an option if it comes up all right if it comes up there looking to sell also check out your stream days for the indices SP 500 and NASDAQ and then that'll kind of match Dow as well. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now with Bitcoin as well, I said no selling. This was a support, so no selling around here anyway. You can only sell if it goes up. And that's basically it. Let's see what that 59 is. 17, 3, 4, 7, 3, 6, 1. 17, 3, 4, 7. 17, 3, 361, okay, so that pretty much there. Alright, well, that's pretty close to each other there. Okay, so this is going to be your zone. Let me get rid of this now. This is over. Okay, so as you can see, we're in that zone. That's the cell zone. Okay, so you're in a sandwich zone here. If you want to sell it, um, do it at a PST level, and that's basically it. Okay, so if you want to do it, you can do it from these levels here, and that's it. On a PST level, that's going to be this zone here. At Astra, I was sellable down from that zone. If you're just hodling, Obviously, don't do anything because hodlers, hodlers, hodlers can wait a little bit more as we're going to be waiting. Okay, and I'll keep you up to date with those dates as well. You know, the market should 
in my opinion, come down a little bit more. I said 15,000 before, like months ago, I said 15,000 was not a bad spot, but I got you know, levels below that as well. So if you're hodling, don't rush trades.